I'm off to Durban for the Durban July. Looking forward to lots of fashion, lots of trends, and a whole lot of celebrities. I'm absolutely excited about it. Thank you very much to KZN and Tourism. It's my first time in that Loliwa train. I'm a bit nervous, but you know, let's go inside and see what happens. Guess who we bumped into? She's trying not to open the door. What's wrong with you? Hi, Bo. I don't want to open the door. I'm getting changed. the German so I'm so excited about it. Well rested, I must say the Loliwa train was a beautiful experience. But now it's time for us to get lambed up for the Durban July. Let's go. It's another red carpet event, and this time she said, Hey, she said, I'm to buy Quail, as you can see. It's all about the Durban July, baby. Everybody's looking so beautiful. But the question is, did they stick to the theme? What was the theme? Hush! Oh my gosh. So let's go see who stuck to the theme. Now we know the Met Durban July Liesl always goes all the way <laughs> out. And you did again. Thank you very much. I can actually just say it's Craig Jacobs. He phoned me a month ago and said, would you like me to dress you again? And I said yes, because last year we had a balloon dress. Yes. Take me through your outfit. What's happening? I see a lot of things here at the bottom. Um, well, it's all about fun. We added a little bit of posh. We added a little bit of fun. Uh -huh. We put three little hula hoops because I'm all about fun. Yes. And if it gets too hot, look at the shwe shwe. The oh so gorgeous Jensu. Normally you play out a bit, but tonight you kept it very simple. This is very Victoria Beckham, by the way. It is. I yeah. think it's very much posh inspired. Posh, oh my gosh. Uh, this year, you know, it was a little bit more of an elegance, yes. more understated theme. I loved seeing the ladies. Everybody looked absolutely gorgeous. But yes. this year was much more refined than in past years, and I loved the fashion. Como Take good. me through your outfit. Uh, Reggie Malamu, Reggie Star. Okay. I loved the theme. Posh, I was like, for the first time, I can wear a hat and not feel bad about yes. it. Uh -huh. I love hats, but I never actually wear a hat. Okay. Um, I love being posh, but I never wear pants. So I thought, let me mix it up and just have fun this year. Love the green. Thank you very, very much. I'm loving the green as well. You know, David Lally made the dress, and he dropped it off a day before the race, and he said, here's the dress, and I'm like, oh, wow. I would have chosen green as well, so I'm very happy. I absolutely love the outfit. Now, tell me, some of, you know, some of the Germans when it comes to guys, especially Especially with the theme posh, where can the guys go wrong? You know what? I think the part where some guys go wrong is when the suit isn't well fitted. The moment it's too big for you, it doesn't look great. The moment it's too tight for you, it doesn't look great. Like, I struggle, I'm not gonna lie, because I have big arms and yes. to wear a blazer that actually does have works. Big arms. You, want, you want to feel it? Yeah. <laughs> Now take me through your art. We spoke about lace. Lace is in. How do we get it right? How do we get? How can we get it yeah. right? Well, lace is very, very coming much in now in South Africa. Still not big as yet. Um, how do you get lace right? For guys, it's a very, very tricky situation. Yes. You have got to be absolutely daring okay. to work lace. And again, like I said, dress to your age. I hope I still look the part. I don't look yeah. like What's a walking that, dinosaur. <laughs>